Hi guys, Stanley here. I'm the co-founder of ValueInvestAsia.com, an investment portal where we give you investment news and also in-depth analysis on listed company every single week. So if you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button so you'll not miss out on any of our videos. Today, let's chat about Tencent's holding. Tencent is well known for its flagship communication tool, the WeChat app, an app that is used by more than 1 billion people every single day. But it also owns some of the world's most popular video games like Honor of Kings and League of Legends. In fact, Tencent Holding is considered to be the largest gaming company in the world. Yet, the stock price has declined close to 40% from a year ago. So, what is the company planning now and is the worst over for Tencent? Although Tencent is a huge conglomerate, its business model is pretty straightforward. It generates huge free cash flow from the current profitable products and services and reinvesting that cash into research and development, creating even more products and services. It can then use those cash to invest into other companies as well during their growth stage. And when these are successful, it will have more cash to repeat that cycle. Over time, Tencent has really become an investment powerhouse and amassed a sizable portfolio of many well-known companies. And some of these investments are so well-known that you might have heard of as well. They include JD.com, C, Pingdodo, Bilibili, Neo, Kuaishou, and even Meituan. However, it seems Tencent is changing its strategy now going forward. Instead of finding more companies to invest into, Tencent announced that it will be divesting part of its stake in two key investments, JD.com and C. This recent action has certainly raised some concern among investors. So firstly, on 22nd of December last year, Tencent announced that it will be distributing about 127 billion Hong Kong dollars or 16 billion US dollars worth of JD.com stakes to its shareholders. This will reduce its holding in JD.com from 17% to just 2.3%. This move will make it lose its top spot as JD.com's bigger shareholder to Walmart. Tencent and JD.com say that they would continue to have a business relationship, including an ongoing strategic partnership agreement. However, Tencent's executive director and president, Martin Lau, will be stepping down from JD.com's board immediately. All in all, existing Tencent shareholders will be entitled to one share of JD.com shares for every 21 Tencent shares that they hold. Tencent say that part of the strategy includes investing in company early to support the development and then to exit them when they become capable of self-financing their own growth. So Tencent say that JD has already reached that point of stage and it's now appropriate for them to distribute its stakes back to their shareholders. And then subsequently on the 4th of January this year, Tencent announced that it will be selling 14.5 million worth of shares of Singapore-based group C. That sales will raise about 3 billion US dollars for the company and it reduces Tencent's stake in C from 21% to about 18.7%. The company said that it intend to continue to hold a majority stake in C for the long term. On top of that, Tencent has also given a irrevocable notice to convert all their Class B shares into ordinary shares. And upon that conversion, all the outstanding Class B shares will now be owned by Forrest Lee, the founder and CEO of C. At the same time, C is proposing that it will increase the voting power of each Class B shares to 15 votes from the current three. This means that if this proposal is approved by shareholders, Forrest Lee, the CEO, will have a majority voting power of 57%. Tencent said that the share sales unlock a portion of the value of Tencent's investment in C, which have seen significant growth and expansion in its global business over the years. And the divestment will provide Tencent with the resources to fund other investment and also key social initiatives, something encouraged by the Chinese government. The news from Tencent's stakes reduction in JD and C have caused an immediate knee-jerk effect on both companies. Both shares of JD.com and C plunge more than 11% after the news surfaces. On its part, Tencent has reiterated that it will continue to maintain a business relationship with both companies. So why is Tencent selling its stake? 
For one, Tencent has no real need for the cash. Tencent is a company that is generating close to $30 billion of cash flow from its business every single year. So even with the sales of C's shares to raise that $3 billion, it's not that significant. Surely Tencent has plenty of cash to continue to invest in other growth opportunity. So the divestment might have something to do with the increased regulational risk in China. Many tech companies are now facing antitrust investigation by the government. And Tencent's stake in many of these successful Chinese tech companies could be seen as anti-competitive and even monopolistic in nature. So maybe to play it safe, Tencent have decided to start spinning off its core investment. If that is true, Tencent might be looking to unwind even more investment in the coming months. Its stakes in companies like Pinduoduo, Divi or even Meituan can come up under the watchful eyes of the government as well. Tencent now has about 15.6% stake in Pinduoduo. The complete divestment could raise around $12 billion for the company. Alternatively, maybe we are looking at another possible dividend in the form of Pink Total shares again in the future. Another reason for the divestment could be that the money can be used to fund Tencent's social initiative. Remember that in 2021, Tencent said that it will double the money that it is putting towards social initiative to 1 billion renminbi. That money could be going towards areas like rural revitalization and helping grow the earnings potential of lower income group in China. Tencent said that at the time, its actions were proactive response to the national strategy. The tech giant said that they will be promoting common prosperity in stages and allowing some people to get rich first while helping others to get wealthy as well. These statements are in line with the Chinese government plan of common prosperity and avoiding the middle income trap and also to avoid the widening wealth disparity in the country. All this means that Tencent is changing. It is no longer just a pure profit-driven company, one that only looks for the best possible investment out there. It will start to have to balance its profit objective with the country's social agenda. And instead of seeing more investment into high-growth tech startup, it might be looking to divest some of its mature investment and starting more social programs. Although that might seem like the growth rate will slow significantly going forward, the 10 cents in the future could be on a more sustainable growth path. All in all, it might not be that terrible of a news for investors. But what do you think? And comment down below which company do you think the 10 cents will divest next. Anyway, if you've gotten value from this video, please give us a like and share it with a friend who you might think will benefit from it as well. And if you're ready to take the next step, you can always check out our free investing course at valueinvestasia.com slash free course. As always, my name is Stanley. Till we meet again, invest safely.